Hi, my name is Anna Hall. I'm here to tell you about a revolutionary program for memory care communities called Connected Living Now. Connected Living Now enhances what we already do. Connected Living Now is an expansion of expressive therapies and what we believe reaches the souls and the, the true being of our residents. Connected Living connects them to their, to their family, their thoughts, their emotions, um, everything that they have inside and it normalizes the life of the person with um, dementia like nothing I've ever seen and I've been doing this a long time. Connected Living Now is a program designed specifically for dementia care communities. There are three main components. First is an easy to use web-based interface that allows residents to be able to communicate with their family and friends and engage in expressive therapy. The second piece are group sessions, curriculum developed especially for reminiscing and enhancing the lives of people who have dementia and allowing them to engage with each other in a normalized way. The third component of Connected Living Now is of course the people component. Connected Living Now trained ambassadors will come and work with residents one-on-one -on -one to help them record their memoirs, help them stay in touch with their families, and feel a sense of empowerment that they can be successful at doing an activity on the computer. In addition, Connected Living Now has a specialized training program to enable direct care staff in memory care communities to be able to work with residents, either one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. My Way Village has been so fortunate to partner with Rogerson House for this pilot. Rogerson House has an incredible reputation as the premier Alzheimer's care community in Massachusetts. For this pilot, we brought in two touchscreen computers and a scanner. We started off with 26 residents in the pilot, and after just a month, we already had 88 family members connected and staying connected to their loved ones. It's a computer program for people with dementia, but it's not teaching them how to use computers. So take your finger and see where it says my mail? Yeah. Tap that. It's more about the experience. Perfect. I think the use of computers here with dementia gives our residents a feeling of connectedness to the outside world, but also that they're doing something that's intelligent, that's, you know, they may read the New York Times cover to cover, whether they remember it or not, we don't know, but this, they're actually interacting. Do me a favor and take your finger and tap on the home button. And they also relate to one another, so when you call it computers, impersonal, it's actually brought our residents together. I'm thinking of one resident in particular, she wouldn't come out of her room. <laughs> wouldn't come out of her room and um, she learned she has an email um, from a family member and next thing you know is here she comes down the hallway with her walker and she's very um, very happy to come out and, and she has actually been engaging more with a lot of activities since this has happened and that's the truth. Yeah. What attracted me to Connected Living Now was the fact that it speaks to all the levels of dementia and Alzheimer's that we have here at Rogerson. It's not just for the, um, the higher functioning, that the people who are getting close to end stage or are late mid stage can actually communicate through Connected Living. Somebody has early stage dementia they'll simply be able to use the computer more independently and maybe be able to learn some of the steps. Somebody has uh, mid-stage dementia, it's just a matter of adding in some additional cueing. They still get the experience, the ability to express themselves, and the ability to feel empowered using a computer and doing things successfully. And in the later stages of dementia, expressive therapy becomes even more important because people can lose the ability to initiate expression or use words and language to express themselves. So by using the expressive therapy and Montessori-based tools of Connected Living Now, residents can listen to music, look at photos, and hold the hand of the person they're sitting with at the computer to have that full, human, personalized experience. There is such fluidity to the programming with Connected Living using the Montessori and the habilitation model of care, you get a response from each and every individual and an overall response from the group. And all of that is therapeutic. 
and can be applied therapeutically to the care planning process and um, can be built on, you know, as that person's and that group's um, disease progresses. One of the hardest things to do is to spend quality time with a person whose memory isn't accessed or easily. The memories are still in there, many of them, most of them but to access them is the difficult part. Where's that picture from? When I was 16 and graduated from high school. Wow. Using the Connected Living Now program is like a visual cue, if you will, which a lot of people with dementia need a visual cue in order to respond to something. The visual cues bring up memories that, you know, are in there, in the brain, just need to be pulled out. I just wanted to say hi and that I miss you a lot and I'm hoping to come visit you soon and I have a nap because I've been so busy. The families are often the most difficult part of caring for a dementia patient and the reason for that is because they feel helpless, they feel um, unattached, the person that they love is gone and they're gonna watch this disease progress. And um, it's very, very painful for that family. Connected living allows that family, gives them permission to get involved in that person's life on a normal level. It gives them permission to talk about the things that happened in the past, to journal them, to connect around them, and to, um, care for the, their loved one, um, to participate in, to, um, to love that person again. It's given her a way to communicate with my um, oldest sister who lives on the West Coast on a regular basis and my sister in Connecticut who she sees, she just doesn't see them as often. And it's also given her the ability to write her memoirs and she's been writing um, lots of questions about her life that I never really had a chance to talk about with her. Connected Living Now is a sigh of relief for caregivers. It's a way to engage with a loved one without worrying about what to say or what not to say or trying to figure out you know what pictures to look at. My sense is that it gives her an activity and a sense of purpose that reminds her of her life before she had dementia and that that is, anything that does that is, pos is positive. Having this program in this building has just been phenomenal, not just for the residents and the families, but also the staff, because it gives them freedom. It gives them the freedom to do the job that they want to do when they come through the door. Our recreation staff have embraced Connected Living beautifully because it helps them do the job that they came here to do. And um, they love the programming. They love how um, it allows them to get an, an even deeper connection with the resident on the level that uh, they like to relate to the Perfect. resident. And now if you click on slideshow, we'll be able to see the letter really big there. Perfect. How do you feel seeing your letter from the 1940s here on the computer? <laughs> to have Connected Living here is an amazing, perfect addition because it fits into the philosophy. It um, welcomes and invites the families to get more involved with what's going on with the person who lives here. It normalizes the life of the Alzheimer's resident or participant. I absolutely do recommend this to any dementia program. It absolutely will change their lives. Connected Living Now. Because many abilities remain, discover them.